Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading um, from the 10th to the 16th of May 2021 or thereabouts. I've pre-shuffled the cards to get your energy into the cards Aquarius. Um, just to say to the general reading, so take what resonates with you but um, leave the rest behind perhaps for somebody else. Um, and also just to say at the beginning of this um, reading time we've got what's called the um, the dark moon which is that brief period um, before the new moon starts to shine through so it's just just before the new moon um, energy comes in um, and this is so the dark moon is very much about resting and letting go letting go of what's no longer relevant for you and just letting letting your energy relax and, and just let go and then as the new, new moon comes in about midweek um, within the sign of, of Gemini this is a time of quiet creativity the germination perhaps of ideas of new ideas um, so a, quite a nice, um, peaceful, restful week for those of you that can, are able to um, take advantage um, of this dark and the, and the new moon energy. Um, okay, so I'll just do a final shuffle now of the Moonology cards. And get your reading started. And a final shuffle of the Oracle of Visions. So first of all we have the full moon in Pisces and this is saying about balancing spirituality and practicality. So a need to balance spirituality and practicality. Um, Aquarius, I'll just pop that to one side and then we have number 16 um, and this is to do with uh, distance um, perhaps um, isolation uh, and perspective so according to where you're standing your viewpoint is on a situation you'll perhaps have a certain perspective um, and it may be different to other people's perspectives and, and sometimes that can make us feel um, a little bit um, isolated, can't it? Especially if we're, we're out there on our own with this perspective. Um, but let's see, let's see where this is going. Because of course, you know, we had balancing spirituality and practicality. Um, and sometimes that can, you know, we can have a, a particular perspective on something because of our spirituality or because of being very practical about something so um, okay let's just do a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams and get a little bit more information so we have the heart of your reading and um, what's on your mind at the moment root influences past influences um, the future going forward and then just something else that your guides or your energies would like to say to you at this time and at the bottom of the deck we have the chariot um, a cancerian energy um, but this is very much about taking the reins now and, and charging forward I feel it's to do with emotions also here because we see the chariot charging through the waves the quite big waves here so taking managing your emotions at this time taking control as things start to um, go forward quickly. So a final shuffle of the Light Seers Tarot. Lay these on top for a little bit of depth and clarity. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Four of Wands and this is about um, success and achievement within a home environment or within an environment. Um, a security also, security and protection within this, um, this home environment. Um, in this particular depiction uh, it's a tent that's securely fastened down uh, but for me when this comes forward it, it's a bit, little bit transient so 
uh, it's fine, you know, but it, it perhaps, you know, will be moving on or um, it may be indicating um, moving home for some of you um, or energies within the home starting to move. Um, but there's lots of success, success and happiness and joy within this um, environment. Right, so at the heart of your reading, we've got the star here as a clarifier, and this is your energy in the major arcana Aquarius. So you've come out here right in the, at the heart of your reading um, as a clarifier for the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, this is again about a success and achievement um, after many battles, perhaps um, hard, hard won, hard fought. Um, success and achievement and, and being acknowledged by others around um, of how far you've come um, so you do know, whatever it is you've been hoping and wishing for and holding out for um, I feel there's there's lots of success and achievement here coming in for you for whoever this is um, for Aquarius and what you're thinking about is we have the King of Swords and the Strength card. And of course the King of Swords again is an aspect um, of your energy because you are very much an air sign, a sword sign, very much of the mind. So this is about thinking logically, giving a lot of logical, um, pragmatic thought to um, a situation. And this could be representing yourself, um, Aquarius, needing to do this. Um, and also drawing on your inner strength. So, you know, we've got the um, the lady that is very caring and nurturing of the lamb she's wearing her heart around her neck there. Um, but you've got the lion, so the lion is her inner strength. She can draw on that lion when she needs to. And I feel this is about yourself giving some deep, deep logical thought um, about perhaps the need to um, draw on your inner strength to do with the situation. Or, th or you may actually be thinking about um, where your strength lies. So let's see. So at the root of the situation we have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Um, fabulous energies. So the Ten of Cups, this is about um, lots of love and love and happiness and joy, contentment within a family situation. Got the family dog there, the family very happy, a lot of prosperity also within this family situation over over long term. And it's a wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is a, having all of your wishes come true. Um, the treasure chest, all of the cups leaping for joy. So a lot of happiness and joy. Um, at the root, within a family situation at the root of this, um, leading on to a lot of success and, and your hopes being fulfilled. And of course we had the joy and celebration within the home situation. Um, and then taking the reins as things are just starting to go forward quickly and managing your emotions. But there's something here that hasn't revealed itself. It's something about perspective. Um, so having a particular perspective, perhaps, you know, according to where you're standing, your viewpoint, um, how you feel about something, may somebody else may feel different about it. And you show you may, it may make you feel a little bit in isolation. Um, but let's see. Let's see what else is going to come out. Because there is something about the need to balance your spirituality, your spirituality with your practicality. So past influences, we have the Ace of Wands and the world. So um, in the past, there's been a, a build up. The Ace of Wands in its purest sense is about new, very creative, passionate um, opportunity or growth. Um, but within this particular depiction, we have the volcano in the background. So something building, um, starting to erupt. So a passion, an energy, a passion of some sort, an energy of some sort, building and starting to erupt here. Um, 
and a completion. So something, so this Ace of Wands energy, whatever it was to do with, is a completion here. Um, that cycle, a cycle completing, a cycle of a build-up of passion and energy. Um, but that's completed in the past, that completed, ready for going forward, uh, anew, afresh, in a new, a new direction, perhaps. But it led to a lot of success and victory and wish fulfillment. And it's what you what you wanted. It was definitely what somebody wanted. And and it feels very positive for the family for a family situation. So going forward, we have the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Um, and the Knight of Swords. This is about a message coming in, something being delivered, communication being delivered very quickly. Um, and the clarifier is the Six of Pentacles, and this is about um, money being shared, divided, um, giving and receiving of wealth, of energy, a very positive, um, abundant card. But it's very much about sharing, giving and receiving. Um, and there's a message coming in about this in the near future. Now, this is something else that um, your guides or your angels would like to say to you at this time. So, we have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So, we've got some more Wands energies. We've got quite a bit of Wands energy in this reading for you, Aquarius. And Wands, of course, are about creativity, passion, movement and change. Um, fire is fire energy. Um, exuberant, exuberant energy. So, because we've had the Four of Wands, didn't we? We've had the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands here. Um, and now we've got the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, this is about um, communication coming in. Um, events moving forward, and but I feel messages coming in very quickly. Very... Um, energizing messages that are perhaps going to bring in some form of um, change, information about change, movement. Um, and the clarifier is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is, um, she's a very entrepreneurial energy, a leadership, she has a leadership quality, she's a born leader. A lot of fire and energy. Um, she holds fire and energy in the palm of her hand, look. And she celebrates that this is something to celebrate. This is perhaps a creative, this is perhaps what this creative new idea has been. Um, that this has been around and it's a celebration of that um, and taking it to the next level. So that's what this mes these the messages and these events coming forward to you uh, is bringing in. It's something to do with um, this new creative endeavour that's bringing in a lot of passion also to do with this. You see all the candles lit here? And, and it's a celebratory energy here. And it's to do with creation, to do with a new creative energy. It's a fabulous reading for you, Aquarius, whoever this was meant for, whoever this is for. I am going to get some more information about the um, this number 16 energy about distance, isolation or perspective. So I'm just going to get some more information about that card. Right, could we get some more information about the number 16 card please? And perspective and possible isolation. And um, could be something to do with distance, positioning. So could we have some more information about that for Aquarius please? Why is that here?
All right, Aquarius, I think we've got a little bit more information now about the number 16. Um, we have the six, the six of Wands again, and we've already had the Six of Wands, didn't we? Which came out right at the heart of your reading, which is achievement, success, victory, hard won, you know, hard won, finally getting there. Um, now here it is again, um, the Six of Wands here, celebration. Um, very, very much looks like the May Queen here, and we are in May now. Um, but other people um, showering the May Queen with confetti and blossom, and and she's holding all of the ones that these are all the victories that she's achieved here. Um, and then the world, a completion, a completion of a cycle, and we saw that in the past energy, didn't we? Connected to the Ace of Wands, so something completing, ready for going forward. Uh, re-energized I feel you know with new growth new potential new new um, optimism um, going forward so here it is again the world um, so I feel so far as um, this number 16 is concerned feeling perhaps isolated having different perspective um, distance I feel that's what's coming to an end that's what's coming to an end and what's coming in is this six of wands energy so you're no longer going to feel alone or distant or isolated um, with your particular perspective and view on, on situations. All right, I think that's energies on it. this energy is on its way out and these energies are, are, are coming in. The world is removing this energy and these are the energies coming in now for you. Beautiful. All right, I'm just going to get two final... Can we have two final messages now, please, for Aquarius to complete this, this fantastic reading? Two final messages, please, for Aquarius. So the final two messages we have watching clouds, so lie back, rest and relax, which links in very much, doesn't it, with the black um, the black moon and um, new moon, brand new moon energies that I was talking about at the beginning. So after a lot of hard work and achievement, it's just if you can, lie back, rest and relax and watch the clouds go by, you know, and read a book, have a cup of tea. It's that sort of an energy. Beautiful. Um, and then we have uh, the desert passage. So whatever has been happening, trust that there's a divine plan, you know, a divine plan to guide you through this desert passage. Um, so whatever challenges come your way, you're going to have guidance. You're going to be able to find your way um, through, through this desert passage. Um, it's being signposted for you. And it just, the energies just want you to trust that there is a divine path. A divine plan um, laid out for you, Aquarius. But you know, enjoy these very positive energies while they're here. All right. Uh, after a lot of hard work and battles, hard won. Um, it looks like there's a, a time of success, celebration, and achievement coming in for you. All right, Aquarius. Um, Thank you for joining me. I hope whoever this is for that it's given you some information, clarity and a little bit of support perhaps on a situation that you're in. It's a very, very positive, um, optimistic reading. Um, so good luck going forward. Enjoy this time and um, I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye bye for now.